life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello guys, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm out here with Felipe Esparza as he discusses his Bad Decisions tour. Take a look. Hi, how are you again? Good. It's so good to see you. Good to see you again. So, last time we talked was for your HBO special. How does it yeah. feel to know that fans really like resonated with it and they want more of you? Oh man, look around. I couldn't believe it. Like When I shot the special... I didn't think they were gonna. I knew they were gonna get a good response, but not a, like an awesome response. And people want to see more. So. Yeah. So today we're here. You're putting on a breakfast. Why was it so important for you to be here and put this breakfast on for your fans? Oh, this, this is my neighborhood. I grew up right here in Boyle Heights. Like I grew up down the street. I grew up in a gated community. You know, the windows were gated. The back door was gated. I live in housing projects. And um, all my friends are here. Some people I grew up. We got my homie right here, Citric. Come here, bro. Just say hi real quick. You know, man, this is how you know everybody from Boyle High showed up. He hey. showed up. What's up, man? What's so up, man? Yeah, man you, you know, know man? Had to come out here show some love to the homie Felipe. This is, right this here. is the hometown, right? Yeah, this is the hometown here, Boyle yeah. Heights, huh? Felipe grew up down the street here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, he probably jumped me here. <laughs> so great to have support, right? Yeah, man. It's amazing. I'm so glad, so, so glad he showed up. We have to talk about your upcoming tour, Bad Decisions. So tell me, what can fans expect? Oh, man, Bad Decisions tour... The, the, the material and the the content of my show is totally different from what they saw on television, my HBO, or my previous special. It has nothing to do with that. My, my standard material is different. I'm going to a darker places in my comedy. Yeah, man, I'm like war. I'm stepping into darkness. And what did you, how did you come up with the name Bad Decisions? Oh, uh, we, we, we thought about it because um, we were going to call it the Bad Ombres Tour. You know, when Donald, when President said a lot of bad hombres, we were gonna call it bad hombres tour, but, it, but we didn't want to scare white people away. So, so we call it the bad decisions because the show is pretty much made up with bad decisions, like hiring Martin Rizzo here with a bad decision. You know what I mean? <laughs> this guy's filmed with a cap on. And tell fans where they can go to buy your tickets. Yeah, they can go buy our tickets at axs.com or felipeworld.com. And you've been doing this for a while. What would you say is the most rewarding part of what you do? Um, I've been doing stand-up comedy for a long time now. My first time I went up on stage. I've been doing it like, for like 20 years, 21. Some of the people here started on Que Locos when they were like five. Yeah, man. I grew up with them on TV. And um, the most amazing part was winning Last Comic Standing. That pretty much put me up there on mainstream for a while. I, I'm just an underground comedian. Well, if you guys want to see more of him, don't forget to buy your tickets for Bad Decisions. Bad Decisions, man. life, love, and pop-pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.